We turn now to America's capital, Moscow. <laughs> As you know by now, the Trump campaign's possible ties to Russia are currently under investigation, both by Congress and separately by Robert Mueller, the special counsel and handsome bird impersonator. <laughs> now, just to refresh everyone, the big question in all of this is, what was the connection between Donald Trump and the Russian government? And all along, the Donald has always answered that question like this. I know nothing about Russia. I know, I know about Russia, but I know nothing about the inner workings of Russia. I don't deal there. I have no businesses there. I have no loans from Russia. I don't know money. I don't have deals in Russia. I don't know Putin. I have nothing to do with Russia. Haven't made a phone call to Russia in years. Don't speak to people from Russia. Not that I wouldn't. I just have nobody to speak to. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know what a Russia is. I don't even know. On my map, there's China, and then there's white China. I don't even know. <laughs> about Russia. So from the beginning, Trump insisted he had absolutely no connections with Russia whatsoever. And then this morning, this came out. Some four months after he began to run for president, denying he had any ties to Russia, Donald Trump secretly signed a letter of intent to build a Trump Tower skyscraper in Moscow. The revelations come from emails turned over to Congress Monday by Donald Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohn, spelling out Trump's involvement in trying to get a major real estate deal in Russia, what was going to be the tallest building in the world at the same time he was running for president. How can one person lie so big? <laughs> You have no connections with Russia, but you signed a deal to build the world's tallest building there? Like, the gap between the lie and the truth could not be wider. <laughs> it could not be wider. It's like if your friend said that they'd never heard of Mumford & Sons, and then one day you see the album cover, and you're like, wait a minute, you're Mumford! <laughs> you're Mumford! <laughs> because, once again, we suspected this, right? We suspected this before. <laughs> And now it's confirmed. <laughs> yes, during the campaign, Donald Trump totally had connections to Russia. Now, the remaining question is, were those connections strictly business? Or were they getting out on the votey votey action, you know? Well, that's not clear yet. What is clear is that the people who Trump signed this Russia deal with aren't exactly helping his case. The middleman for the Bosco Trump Tower deal was a convicted felon and one-time FBI informant, Felix Sater who was also involved in other Trump deals. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Trump dealing with yet another shady character. Trump Tower is the only place where ticking yes on criminal conviction is what gets you the job. That's, that's what that feels like. Oh, oh, and in case you were wondering, in case you were wondering, yes, the Seda guy is also Russian. Russian-born, Brooklyn-raised. He uh, got into trouble back in the 90s. He got in a bar fight and served jail time. Say to snap the stem of a margarita glass, and stabbed the man in the neck and face. The man had 110 stitches. Sweet Jesus. He needed 110 stitches? Not even Mr. Met has 110 <laughs> stitches on his head. And that motherfucker is a baseball. <laughs> oh, and, and by the way, just a, a quick etiquette note. Of all the glasses to stab someone with, I would say a margarita glass is the worst. You're literally putting salt in the wounds. Why would you do that? <laughs> this is unnecessary. This, like, this guy Sata, everything about him is like, he's crazy. He didn't just assault people. Uh, apparently, Felix Sata also committed non-stabbing crimes, including $40 million of stock fraud. Yeah, which none of this should be a surprise, right? Uh, because I have a simple rule in life. You never trust someone with a cat name. Right? If a human goes by Felix or Whiskers or Mittens, you should probably just stay away. Yeah. <laughs> which, which is what Trump said he did. In fact, like Russia, he apparently doesn't even know the Sata dude exists. At the time of the Moscow deal, Trump executives denied to ABC News that Sater had any current role with Trump. To say he's a senior advisor to Mr. Trump at any point in time would not have been accurate in my mind and or Mr. Trump's mind. Yet Sater was given cards by the Trump Organization calling him a senior advisor to Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, man. No, but come on, guys. Come on. It's like, this is the same lie as the Russia one. I have nothing to do with this guy. Oh, actually, he's my senior advisor. And I printed it in gold. That's how I did it. I printed it in gold. Uh, like, you know, like, the big story here isn't just that this shady Russian-born criminal was acting as the middleman between Trump and the Kremlin. 
uh, when Trump insisted he had no such connections. The real story here is what the shady guy was saying. In emails turned over to Congress between Sater and Trump's lawyer Cohen, first reported by the Washington Post, Sater wrote, Buddy, our boy can become president of the USA and we can engineer it. I will get all of Putin's team to buy in on this. I love how obvious all the Trump people were in their collusion emails. Like, first Don Jr.'s emails were like, Clinton, Russia, I love it. <laughs> and now you've got Felix Sater saying to Trump's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, let's engineer the election with Putin. <laughs> like, these people are so heavy-handed. It's almost like the emails were composed by a porn writer. That's how blatant it is. <laughs> Hello, I just moved in next door, and I'm so horny for collusion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, look, we, we don't know how bad this is. We don't know how it's gonna end. What we do know is that now, Handsome Bird has all the reason he needs <laughs> to add Trump's personal lawyer to this investigation. And I don't know about you, but my lawyer knows some <laughs> about me. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I, I don't have a lawyer. I don't even know what lawyers are. So, uh... <laughs> so this buddy boy email may not be the smoking gun for Trump, but what it could end up being is the broken taillight. Yeah, the thing that gives law enforcement the excuse they need to look into Trump's trunk. And we all know he's got a lot of junk in that trunk. <laughs> <laughs>